Welcome back. During the 60s and 70s, they had more hits than any other British band, and that includes the Beatles. Remarkably, they've never officially broken up or stopped touring. There are, of course, the Hollies. Now, even in 2010, the band's success rolls on. They recently found out they're to be inducted to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And they're all Sounds here painful. now. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What, what does wow. that mean? That, that means you're right up there with the, the biggest bands ever, aren't you? Well, this year it's ABBA, Genesis, ourselves, right. and, and in previous years it's, well, it's pretty, pretty much everyone. Wow. But we can't go there for the, for the award ceremony because we're actually performing at the London Palladium on the 14th of March on the same day. So oh. Alan Clark and Graham Nash are going to go and collect them. Our, our tour was booked sort of 12 months ago, so we only found out like a month ago that we're getting the award. And the Americans phoned up and said, of course we'll need you for three days, blah, blah, blah. That's what we're doing in the Palladium, we're doing Birmingham. Oh, well, cancel that. Well, people have booked, you know, it's sold, uh, yes. sold out. We can't just move yes. things Customers around. King. Uh, we're going to have a look back at, at some of the hits. And as Simon and I were saying earlier on, there's so many songs that, you know, people may not oh, necessarily know that, that, that yeah. was yours. But let's have a look now. <laughs> <laughs> Ray, that was an agonised kind uh, of Well, it's the, you know, the audience <laughs> shot that got me there, but there you go. Well, <laughs> we were talking about the number of hits where people, and I'm sure people say this to you all the time, I didn't realise that was yours and that was yours and that was yours. You were very diverse, weren't you? Know, you if someone band? comes along to one of our gigs who possibly, you know, they hadn't wanted to come along, somebody said, oh, come on, you'll enjoy it. We see them afterwards, that's exactly what they say. So I knew all those songs, but I've forgotten they were all yours. Yeah. And when we're looking back at that footage there, what's it like? Sort of knowing that, I mean, obviously you were singing at that time, you were right up there with the Beatles and outsold them many times. What's it like looking back at that? It's sad. Well, really, it's, it's just a, a, a recent uh, you know, real, realisation that we've actually been through that. By talking about, uh, about it with my younger friends, they said, oh, Bob, tell us that story about meeting Hendrix in New York and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. I'm thinking, well, it, it was pretty good. You know, we, we lived through, through some great times, you know. The best. Uh, very first Top of the Pops, 1964, all that stuff. You were right on, the, on the very first Top of very the Pops? Very first. It was mm -hmm. done in, in an old church in Manchester on Dickinson Road. We were on the first one with the Beatles and the Stones and Dusty. Um, that was then the it moved up, was it? That yeah. was pretty moved good down to London after that, down yeah. to uh, 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 around the Grove. Yeah. Because oh, yeah. at, at the time, they seemed to be saying, you know, Beatles, Liverpool, Hollies, Manchester, although <laughs> a lot of you from Lancashire, aren't you, Nelson? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. But it, 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 was, it was pitching you against one another, sort of artificially in a way, wasn't it? Liverpool well, versus it's, Manchester. It's funny you say that, because when the Beatles moved out of the cavern in Liverpool, we kind of took over and sort of lunchtime sessions there and also one in the evening. And in between the two, we'd go to the famous pub opposite called The Bunch of Grapes. And we used to find the evening sessions were much looser than the, <laughs> the lunch, <laughs> lunchtime ones. <laughs> and, and Peter, I mean, the, the, those, the, the, the songs that you've come up with really have stood the test of time, haven't they? I mean, that's the thing. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you can look back at stuff, maybe there are songs you don't think have so well. All the ones I'm thinking of. Yeah, and Haley's My Brother and yeah, That I yeah. Breathe, those, those See, sort of songs. I had the same kind of thing when I, when I joined the Hollies in 2005. It's the same thing. I didn't realise a lot of the songs that just have the great history that's always there. But the one songs, the, the great ones that lasted, like Hey Ain't Heavy and, 
and now they've become like anthemic, you know, which is lovely to see. You know? Yeah, I was going to say, is there a song, Bobby, that, that when you're singing it, you will really feel like this is the one that you well, love heavy, the most? Well, heavy, as Peter so. said, heavy is very moving, especially yeah. for the audience as well. I think uh, and also, it's the, for me, when I come in to yeah. see the strength of the audience as well, that have been following uh, the Hollies for, for over that period of time, you can never forget those guys because yeah. they come in year out um, and, and support us all on tour. And it's, but it's, the air that I breathe, I mean, we virtually can stop, you know, during the choruses, which we, which, which we do, and they just take over. They just know it, don't yeah. they? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds yeah. better than yeah. us. Yeah. Can I ask you the impossible question? Rolling Stones or Beatles? Well, Beatles, or insofar as they were first, away, yes. they, uh, <laughs> they opened the doors for everyone else. So, yeah, it's, it's got to be the Beatles, really. But you, Jimmy oh. Savile said, are the group's group. The group's group, yeah. That's Jim, good old Jim, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a nice thing to say, isn't it? Yeah. The group's group. And you did have a lot of them in the audience when you, when you did your talk. I was in a group, but, and, and I used to go and watch the Hollies at my local dance hall. Did you? Yeah. Were you a little boy? Yeah. Were you just How well old were you? Were you very <laughs> I would have been, oh, 14. 16. Okay. 16, 16, and I actually remember seeing the Hollies um, in, in Wallington in Surrey when Stay was number two in the charts, I think, on that very night. Yeah. We call, it num call it number we all, one. We yeah, all call it number one. Yeah, all right then. I, I know you it was number instrument, one. Yeah. Instruments are poised. You are going to play for us in just a second. Just Would a you? little bit. Yeah. Well, hold on yeah. one moment, because we are just going to uh, say that is pretty much it from us for today. And on tomorrow's show, we've got more Hollywood glamour. Oscar-nominated Jeff Bridges will be talking about his new film, Crazy Heart. So do join us for that. Breakfast is back tomorrow at 6 o'clock, so hope you can join us then. Have a very good day. The Hollies are going to play us out. Stop when this she's there I sing Please share my umbrella I stop bus go She stays loud Rose under my umbrella All that summer We enjoyed it Wind and rain and shine That umbrella We employed it By August she was mine She'd shop and she would show me what she bought